Members of the Islamic Movement in Nigeria, IMN, have expressed delight with the recent bill granted to their detained leader, Sheikh Ibrahim El Zezaki, and his wife Zenat. The movement has commended the judiciary and is happy that government has chosen to obey the court order this time around. But a point of regret is the death of over 150 members of the movement, which could have been avoided. So what happens now as members of the movement await the return of their leader? Abuja daily procession. We are going to suspend that one for the time being. And uh, let the government continue with its court case when Sheikh Zekzeki is back. All what we are saying is that you, someone must be alive before you take him to court. Members of the public are relieved with government's decision to adhere to the court order. If it's a terrorist group, there's no need of them saying, OK, let's free him out. If he dies, OK, he died as a terrorist. But if they feel it's the right way to go, still good and fine for peace to reign. The federal government can guarantee a safe return, All right. that it will stand trial. It's all well and good. If you notice, even when the daughter spoke, nobody come out. So give and take. Some lessons have been learned. And so for me, I would say let government accede to that order, so that especially as this government is being passive of not obeying court order. The IMN leader had been in detention since December 2015, and despite a court order earlier granting him bail, he was still held in custody. This birthed series of protests in the streets of Abuja, which later turned violent. From Abuja, Amina Jibril, STV News.